Good morning. So this is Bebe. Hi, Bebe. He is like, I am ready for my morning sweet potato. <laughs> We're going to do it down here. So before we do any training with him, and kind of the first thing he gets when he comes out is his supplement. Got it, good job. Would you like to do some training? So we train all of the pandas um, basic behaviors that really just help us with their everyday care um, and some behaviors that help us, and he's very ready to do the blood sleeve, that's one of his favorite things, um, to help us with veterinary needs. So we do a lot of stuff so that it makes our lives and their lives much easier and that we don't have to put them under anesthesia to do a lot of procedures with them. Can I have both paws up here? What about this one? Can I have this paw up here? Ooh, this paw here. Good. Can I have this paw here? Oh, your paw right here. Almost. Come in, right here. Are you a little confused? You target. Good. Not with your tongue. So by asking him to kind of move his paws up here, paw, good. I can get a really good look at his claws and also the pads on his feet. And this is a pretty good way to actually see um, what giant pandas have, and it's a special adaptation called a pseudo thumb for eating bamboo. Um, so they have your normal five fingers or toes, as they technically are in a bear. Paw. Oh, your paw. Good. Um, and then they have an elongation of the sesamoid wrist bone, which on us is right in here. And it comes out to act as a thumb, which helps them grasp onto bamboo. Put this back up. Good boy. And then I can also actually get him to stand. It's a little hard in his chute. Can I have your paws up here? This paw here. Do I need to stand up with you? Give me your paws. Baby. Paw. Good. So then you can see kind of how his shoulders are moving. Can I have this paw up here? Good job, bud. With the adults, they actually have really tall area where they can fully stand up and we can see how their whole body is doing. Can you open big? Good. Open. Hold it up. Good. All right, so what is his personality right, like right now? Like he seems very um, alert in a way. Sorry. Sorry, baby. Okay. Good. <laughs> Good job. Yes. Yeah, so he, when he comes out in the morning, he's very eager to either go out on the yard or do some training. Um, and he is very ready to do this blood sleeve training, which he keeps touching over here. Can I see your feet? Good. We're still working on that behavior, and it's just kind of to get him move his feet around. Um, but it really depends on the morning. Some mornings he wants nothing to do with us. Um, open. Good. This morning he's a little bit, a little bit more willing to work. Good. And with all of the training, as you can see, we kind of, we use a hand signal along with speaking. Um, target. Good job. And that's a good way um, to just make sure we're all staying on the same page as keepers since we have 10 people on our team and all of us work with the pandas. Um, get your paws up here. So it's all, good. it's all the same that he doesn't get confused with everything. Right. Else. It's all the same. And then also because um, every cub we have will ultimately go to China. Mm -hmm. um, it's good that he knows hand signals to train with. Target. Good. Um, so that there is no language barrier in like using a language cue for a behavior. Can you get it? You got it. Are you teaching Bebe any Chinese? We are not. Um, so really just doing all of these hand gestures is pretty easy for him. 
Um, and then over in China, they also do the same type of blood draw training that we do here. Um, so them learning it over here is a pretty big deal. Can you put your paws back up? Wow, that's great. And then we'll do his favorite behavior. Wanna lay down? You lay down? And that is a favorite of his, and sometimes he gets very silly with it. <laughs> is he, like, he has a little bit of fun with it, too, then. He does. Um, and sometimes <laughs> when you do this behavior, all of a sudden he just turns into a rolling, playful mess. Um, he gets very, very silly. And he knows how to lay down on both sides. You want to lay down on this side? Good job, bud. <laughs> And the laying down behavior is really good because it gives us um, a really good look if we get him into our training cage. Say we ever had to do an abdominal ultrasound on him um, or a cardiac ultrasound, which we do with Tien Tien, um, where we actually do an ultrasound of his heart and sure. see what's going on there. Um, training them to kind of just lay down um, is really good. They'll sit there, you could hold them in place with a bottle of honey water. Right. Um, and they'll lay right there and you could go in and do a nice ultrasound on him. So we have him trained for that behavior. We have never actually done an ultrasound on him, um, but he will let us like touch on his belly. Um, and that's also really good for the nutritionist to come in here and feel his fat coverage. Open your mouth. Good. You know what's remarkable about this is that up close you really see, I mean, as, as trained as he is, I mean, you still see the power of his claws and of yes. his teeth. And, that's why he's in a cage, you know, he's yes. still in a so, bear cage right here. Giant pandas, they are bears. People think they would be very cute and cuddly. Um, they are not at all. They're very, very powerful. Um, we all like to joke, their heads are so large and very, very cute, but the large head actually hides some very strong jaw muscles. So with the eating the stalk of the bamboo, I'm gonna go ahead and just give them a couple of these. There you go, buddy. We'll do your blood sleeve in a minute. <laughs> Eating the stalk of the bamboo in the winter, um, Tian Tian, our adult male, can actually break a stalk of bamboo that's about this big around in just one bite. Um, so those jaws are extremely, extremely powerful. They have a stronger bite than a polar bear um, for crushing things. Um, and then those claws are also razor, razor sharp. So as you can see when he puts them up here, we really don't manipulate his claws much. Um, we don't have to worry about any clipping his claws in your feet. Good. So he enjoys these crackers or these, he these biscuits. Yes, these he are the really apple, does. No, the cinnamon. Yes, the cinnamon and banana. Mm -hmm. um, and at first we weren't sure if he was really going to enjoy them, but yeah. he absolutely loves them. Um, so I'm going to do the blood sleeve behavior with him right now. Okay. Um, just be aware his paw is going to come out here. Okay. Um, so he has a little bit of a leeway. He's able to reach out and hold on to this. So okay. there is going to be a little bit of a panda arm flailing. <laughs> Got anybody? Paw? Can I have your paw? Almost. Good job. So this behavior, can you touch it again? Paw. Good. Um, will do and we'll actually hold him here with honey water and the vets can actually go ahead and stick a needle right into his veins um, and draw blood from him this way. Good job, eh? Can you put it back out, Pop? And as you saw, we have that plate in there because if we didn't, he would just sit here all day long and do this. He loves to do this behavior. All of the pandas really enjoy this behavior. Um, and if the plate's in the way, they're always like, why can't I stick my arm out there? So even when you're not drawing blood, you still do this exercise just so he gets used to it. Right? Yes. So can you grasp that again? Get that last toe on there, bud. I know. Grasp it again. Come on. Almost. All right. I'll give it to you. You're doing good. Now put your nose back up here. Paw. Good boy. So we always do this whether or not he's getting blood drawn. Um, and when he was really young, we would practice it before his blood draws were even scheduled so that he's just very comfortable with the behavior. Um, and we always like to do it even when there's not a needle involved so he knows that sometimes it's a behavior like this where nothing's going on. We may pull a couple hairs out of his arm or we are going to stick a needle in there and we'll have some vets down here to do that. And we actually train a lot of our animals for this type of behavior. Can you put your paw back up here so I can put the plate in? That's great. Good job. I mean, this just doesn't ever get old, does it? It does not. Um, 
And I started working here when Bebe was actually about six months old. Um, so I didn't know him as a baby baby, but I knew him when he was still a little boy. Um, and it's definitely been awesome to see how he's changed as he's grown up. Um, and he know, does he know you from the other keepers then? I think that he can kind of tell the difference between all of us. Um, I think definitely the pandas, they know who's fam really familiar and who works down here very often. Um, we see that with Meishang when she's showing some pregnancy behaviors. Yeah. Um, definitely people who work down here more often, um, she won't get as upset if we're talking around her, but if it's a little bit of an unfamiliar voice, as if our, our veterinarian calls her name, right. and she hasn't heard his voice in a while, she may get a little bit upset. Um, but yeah, he definitely, I think he can tell who's who. You put your paws up. Good. One more and you could go outside. Open big and wide. Good. So I've always known um, Bebe as, out of all things, having the same birthday as me. Me too. August 22nd? Yes. Um, <laughs> yes, so we share a birthday. It's, 20, it's August 22nd over here. I'm going to take a quick picture. Is that good? Yep. Oh, hi. Can I check all that? Make sure they're good. Oh my gosh, that's funny. <laughs> I know, and every time I, I, I like running to the zoo, and when I always stop by, and I'm like, there's my birthday twin. How yes, are you? That's, I always request to work with him on my birthday yeah. so that we share our birthdays <laughs> together. It's a little bit selfish. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> oh, oh, yep, and pandas burp. <laughs> they most definitely burp. Him and his mom are both very big burpers. Oh my gosh. Are you ready to go out? Can I get a laugh check? What? Yes. Yeah. No, just like roll it over here. Give him a couple pieces of fruit. 